Hey everyone, I'm Guido from BlockBuilders and I want to show you guys um, the Binance Futures platform today. First of all, for your understanding, um, futures are not actually cryptocurrencies, but when you trade um, futures, like Bitcoin futures, you are trading more or less a contract that is related to the price of the underlying asset. And in the case of Binance futures, it's the Bitcoin price. And the biggest platform to trade um, futures on or Bitcoin futures is BitMEX and people are trading quite heavily on there. So they have a trading volume of 1.5 um, billion US dollars um, every day. So it's quite a big volume. And that's probably the main reason why Binance decided to open up and own a Bitcoin futures platform and um, everyone has access to it now because they just launched it. So in order to use that Binance Futures platform, you need to have a Binance account. If you don't have one, feel free to use the link down below. And once you are logged in, you can just click on Futures and then you will be redirected to the Binance Futures platform. Um, there's one major difference between the BitMEX platform and the Binance platform. And in order to trade on BitMEX, you need to have Bitcoin and you need to send Bitcoins to BitMEX. And when you do a successful trade there, the thing you do is you get more Bitcoins. Um, so if you start out with like one Bitcoin on BitMEX and um, you increase your or you have a profitable trade of 10% of your um Bitcoin that you used and um, you will get 0.1 Bitcoin. So you have in total 1.1 Bitcoin and um, for the Binance Futures platform. It's different. It's um, the underlying asset here is Tether. So in order to trade there, you need to have Tether and then you can buy Bitcoin contracts. Um, that's basically useful when you think um, Bitcoin will go um, to zero at one point or it will be um, useless. Um, otherwise, I would rather recommend um, trading on BitMEX and always have um, Bitcoins because um, in order, like me, for example, I believe Bitcoin will go to 100,000 euros in a couple of years. So for me, it makes sense to hold Bitcoins and to increase my Bitcoin position. But if I would think a Bitcoin will go to zero, it wouldn't make sense for me to trade on BitMEX because if a BitMEX or Bitcoin would go to zero, I would have like a lot of Bitcoins if I would short them on BitMEX, but they would be worthless. So it really doesn't make sense. Um, but it wouldn't make sense on the Binance Futures platform because <coughs> I would get uh, more Tether or more USD Tether. So Tether is a stable coin, which is basically packed to the dollar value. Okay, and um, that's the major difference. And now I want to show you guys how to use um, the futures platform. And in order to trade there, I mean, you need to have Tether on the platform. So you need to have Tether on your Binance account. And that Tether um, can be transferred to the futures wallet. And that's what I'm going to do. I have um, 1138 Tether on my exchange wallet. And I want to transfer to the futures wallet. So I click just here, confirm transfer, and you can see um, the balance is available now. Um, what I can do now is I can basically trade with it. Here you can see the candles and the candles are right now five minutes. So every candle is a five minute candle. Um, if it's green, that means the uh, latest price um, was higher than the entry price. And if it's red, that basically means the entry price was higher than the exit price or the latest price as the candle closed. You can also change that to like 15 minutes or use hourly candles. Then every candle is like one hour or you can also use daily candles. Um, right now I'm feeling comfortable on the five minute candle and you can also use different tools here. You can use, for example, trading view then you could also use technical indicators. But if you want to use that, I would recommend um, using TradingView and the platform itself and not just the window here. <clears throat> okay, in order to 
put a trade in. Um, we can just use a limit or a market order. And that basically means a market order will be executed immediately to the best available price on the market. And a limit order basically means we can or we have to set a price that um, we want to pay in order for the order to be executed. But that needs to be below the current market price. And the advantage for a limit order is so you can set a price and you usually pay lower fees. <clears throat> One thing I didn't mention yet is uh, margin you can trade with. And for Bitmax, it's basically one to 100. So you can use a leverage of 100. But for Binance Futures, it's um, only 20x, so a leverage of 20. But I mean, if you, no one really trades with a leverage of 100, because it would mean if um, you enter a trade with a leverage of 100, you will be liquidated if the price drops by just 1%. For um, a leverage with 20, it basically means um, you will be liquidated when the price drops by roughly 5%. And um, Binance Futures basically uses a cross margin. That means it's a flexible margin. So you can't really set the um, margin here. And it kind of does it automatically. And um, I will show you in a minute. So let's just enter a trade now. Let's say we want to buy one BTC. Um, so then it also automatically trades takes um, a leverage of 1 to 20. So it would require a margin or like, it would require for me to have at least 540 um, USDT, also Tether in my account and I have that. So I can just say, okay, buy long. <clears throat> and now you can see my position here. I bought one Bitcoin. My entry price was ten thousand three hundred three, and the market or the mark price, market price, um, market price basically means um, it's an average price um, of not that futures platform, but of other exchanges. So they use the price from Bitfinex, from Binance, from Bitrex, from HitBTC, and they calculate an average price. And they use that as a market price and the market price becomes relevant when it comes to the liquidation price, basically. So they don't liquidate you with a, with a price here on the platform, but with the average market price. <clears throat> and you can see here our liquidation price is um, 9,400 um, US dollar. So and we still have 620 US dollar left. So what that basically means is they use that available balance um, as well for the calculation of the liquidation price. So if you would, so they basically take um, a leverage of one to 10 here because I still have available balance and they use that to cover for my position. And if I would send more Tether here, the liquidation price would and drop. So it's kind of a flexible um, leverage that I use here or that it's automatically used um, by Binance. So you can't really adjust the leverage because it does it automatically. You just make to make sure that um, you have still have a lot of balance or enough balance in your account that the liquidation price is deep enough that you don't get liquidated. And here you have a profit and loss. So I invested 540 USDT and right now the price is up a bit. So I'm one third of a percent or now less um, positive, like $1 right now. And here you can see I can close my position either with a market order or with a limit order. When I want to close my position with a limit order, I need to set a price. For example, here, 10,000. 315 and now um, basically an order was created um, to sell my position when the price reaches 10,315 US dollar. And what I would recommend you guys to do is also set a stop limit. So a stop limit basically means you 
um, set a price that um, when the price drops of Bitcoin, um, your position will be automatically um, stopped or like liquidated. So let's say we want to set a stop limit if the price drops, that was the lowest year in the last few hours. So when the price drops to 10,278, um, we want to cancel our position and we want to receive at least 10,270 US dollar for our Bitcoin. It's one Bitcoin and then we set sell short. And then we basically have here an open orders um, our stop order. So if the price drops below 10,278 US dollar, um, our position will be um, stopped or canceled. So that uh, is just an insurance for us that we don't lose too much money if the price drops. And if we go back to our position, we could cancel our position now. And in order to do that, we just create a market order. And now our position was canceled. We need to stop our stop order. And then you can see we are back at 10,139 USDT. So that's basically how Binance Futures um, works. Remember, the main difference is that you trade um, Tether and not Bitcoins. If you rather prefer to trade Bitcoins and increase your Bitcoin stack and use BitMEX, you also find a link down below. Um, if you prefer to trade in Tether, um, it's basically best to use Binance Futures. If you have any other questions, feel free to use the comments um, down below. Um, that's it and thanks for watching. Goodbye.